Alright guys, this is uh, Martin from De Evolved and here's Baza. Uh and we found this little church, uh, so we're gonna go inside. Right guys, um yeah we're going in. Barry's already in. Ho ho ho! <laughs> Merry Christmas guys! Right guys, yeah, so this is our little Christmas explore. Yeah, a little bonus one, um, the one we wanted to do fell through. Um, but I did say, I did promise you guys, I did promise all of you that we would do one more explore for Christmas. And this little beauty cropped up. And this little gem here, little gem, <laughs> golden gem. <I'll> tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled through in that. So uh, we made our way up to uh, St. Mary's Church, which is where we are. Um, and yeah, we've done a, a little walk around and uh, hope you enjoy the footage. There you go, turn it up. Oh shit. <laughs> Crazy. So that like what they keep the holy water in? I think so. Lift it up, see if there's any water in it. No, it's dry. There's no holy water left. No blessing to that. <laughs> no, no one's blessed. And look at this. Doesn't that look special, guys? I'll light it up a little bit more for you. Look at that. This isolated area of Essex is best known for the Battle of Maldon, fought between the salt marshes in AD 991, between Ethelred the Unready and Viking invaders. I think the only thing that ruins it slightly is I can hear like some vehicle reversing like yeah, for about an hour. Uh, some kind of fire on the door. Bless the Lamb of God. And that we shall. <laughs> so look at this guys. Don't it look all like nice with all the candles? Look at this place. Look at this place. Crazy. This has always been a sleepy, out of the way place. The Church of St. Mary reflecting this in its unpretentious architecture. The hall and church once stood within a moated enclosure, of which only a small portion survives. Such moats are common in East Anglia and were used to contain livestock, and a more complete example survives elsewhere within the parish. The church closed in 1970. The earliest part of the church is the nave, which dates back to the 14th century. <laughs> there you go. That's the little, the little um, the box where they, where the priest would read from, Bibles and stuff. The church is built of stone rubble. In the most part, it's rendered to give protection against the relentless winds that swept across the marshes. In chronological order, and next in date is the unusual Tudor West Tower, whilst the North Porch was added during the 1600s. The true beauty of this church is that it's hardly been touched since the early 19th century. The chancel was rebuilt in brick in the 18th century, no doubt due to subsidence, which today is still evident. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's always been wonky, yeah. Do you reckon that's why it's no, no longer used? Yeah. It's got to be. Even, even the doorway's off, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we made it, man. And uh, 
and us too. Indeed. It's, uh, it's a shame the others couldn't make it and we couldn't make our main explore. Um, I was really looking forward to the one we had planned. However, it doesn't mean we're going to have to forget about it completely. The chances are we'll do it sometime in 2023. But for now, this is our little gift to you guys. This tiny little church called St. Mary's. Dilapidated in an ever going state of decay. Here you are, guys. Here it is. And what little gift have we got up here? Ooh, wow! Festive spirit of beer. <laughs> spirit of beer. Have a little walk round. Very well. I'll let uh, Barry go first. He's got his head torch yeah. on, so show you the way, mate. He'll light the way, <laughs> and I'll show you guys what's up. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Fully lit. Beautiful little lights. And it was turquoise. Did you hold? It was, yeah. <laughs> so we don't know how long they're going to burn for. Like, I don't know if they're good quality or not. They're from Tesco, but... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we bought them ourselves. Like, these are our lights that we bought, guys. So we bought them along to light the place up. Um, and yeah, this is it. Amazing. Really happy with this. Yeah. We've got some blinding pictures. We sure have, yeah. We've got loads of pictures. <laughs> yeah, probably. Or maybe for a lantern, maybe. Look at the wall, though. The wall's well bowed out. Uh, All the plaster's well blown, isn't it? Yeah. Very. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, you can hear it, can't you? It's like hollow sounding almost. I wouldn't tap it Very just in chilly, case. Though. Yeah, yeah. I shouldn't really tap it, I don't think. Right, you know, someone probably tapped that bit, didn't they, there, and then that happened like a little <laughs> earthquake on the wall. <laughs> Priest's dash bag, wow. or, or the uh, the church cat's hidden in there. Right. Stick the camera in there, it goes a long way. Does it? Shine mm -hmm. your light through there. Mm. Oh, blimey, it does, doesn't it? Mm. I don't know what the point of that is. God knows. Do you reckon something was actually in there originally, or whether it just slowly fell away? I think that's where they held the treasure. I know church, um, like old um, chimneys and that, they used to put children's shoes in, didn't they, and things like that. What, in the wall? Yeah, it was for like kind of good luck, that kind of thing. Yeah? And very where old houses in Barling and things like that, you, you find Victorian find shoes, shoes in, stuff, in the like chimney. Yeah. In the wall and the chimney. So they might have done something like that, yeah. It's, it's kind of funny, I was having a chat with my dad the other day and um, he wanted, they always wondered, like, they bought me a pair of Clark shoes when I was like about five or six and uh, I kind of lost them and I said that I threw them away and they were like, where are they, where are they, where are your shoes, like they're brand new, where are they? I was like, where are they, where are your shoes, like you've just bought them, my expensive <laughs> shoes, where are they? And like me being this little kid, like, I threw them in the laundry van. And I was like, where the fuck is the laundry van, you know? <laughs> and like, but I had a dream the other night that I remembered where the laundry van was, yeah? And I've got a feeling it is actually in the chimney, like the upstairs air vent that goes into the chimney. Yeah. I've got a very strong suspicion that if we reach yeah, in there, there with like a litter pick or something, <laughs> there's a chance you'll find a brand pair new pair of Clark shoes, like <laughs> size three or something, like never been worn. It'll probably be worth fortune now, but like... <laughs> the only pair left. So little did I know it was good luck. I'd like to know what luck it bought, but yeah. <laughs> so yeah, guys, here we are. Here we go, look at this. It's 
It's very calm. It is calm. We haven't had any other visitors. And um, we did kind of expect possibly a tramp or something, something like that, something along those lines being here. But yeah, no tramp. And, and uh, just the two of us. A lot of yards got quiet now as well. No yeah, 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 that's true. No more beep, beep, beep. That's good. So, yeah. We've got the original bell, uh, which has got a date on it. Uh, repair date of 6th the 4th, uh, 1931, possibly written on there. It's kind of hard to tell at this angle. Might be newer, I'm not sure. But the clangers there, you can see that, and that's attached to a nice piece of rope. So we're going to definitely give that a ring on the way out, I think. Don't do it if you don't feel safe up there, man, but... Uh, I feel good. Yeah? Yeah. Go on, then. Yeah, it'll be great to see a picture of the bell close up. No. Barry from De Evolved, going above and beyond. Right up the top where that bell is. Can't see him anymore. You up there all right, mate? All right, let's see if I can see him from this side, like. <laughs> wow, there he is. What a nutter. Just be fucking careful, innit? Yeah. Wow, what the Just make sure you're steady. And then, uh, yeah, get a picture of it. I don't even know if I can see you on this camera. Like, yeah, just about. The tower dates from the Tudor period and is built entirely of timber in the Essex tradition. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Just tread careful, man. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's alright. <laughs> Your excuse. <laughs> Above and beyond again, Barry. <laughs> you know me. Tell you what, I'm glad I haven't got my beer under it. It'll be full of crap by now. Yeah, that's what I put mine down. <laughs> <laughs> well surprised you're up there. <laughs> it crossed my mind earlier. I thought <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny because from outside it doesn't look that high, does it? But when you're inside and you've got yeah. all that wood and the, the cross struts and the beams and that, it does actually look quite high. The skirt hides the wooden posts that support the weight from above. Here's the bell. I took a little climb to get to it. Uh, let's have a little pan down here. I believe there's a Martin below me. Right going, there. What's up, dude? Nice, nice. One for Dear Evolved. Impressive stuff, mate. <laughs> I do what I can. Do that bell proud. Yeah. Yeah. It was a bit heavy footed, I must admit. Yeah, yeah. You could hit Ben Joy or anything like that, you know. Yeah. I could be really evil, I could actually pull the bell now. <laughs> oh, I'd go deaf. <laughs> it's got some inscribes on it. That's six in Roman numerals. There's some weird shapes here. Epic. Oh. Can you film underneath the bell and see what that? I I just thought about that. Oh. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Someone's already been out here, but it looks a bit inscribed on it. Yeah, it's got some writing on it. It's got something written on it to your bottom left. Yeah, pretty much there, yeah. Can't read it, it just hangs all my head's Six upside down. Cooper. I thought it said 19 at first. 19. Wow. Can you get up higher or is that as high as it goes? Uh, no, it's pretty much the top of the roof here. Yeah. Cool, nicely done. I'm surprised there's no bats or anything up here. Are there any gaps or vents or anything? No, nothing at all, dude. Yeah. A lot of spider webs. What do you 
just film yourself getting back down again. Cool. Hand around for the camera. Sweet. And yeah, just get your uh, your foot in right. You know, get a plan together where you're going to go. Best way back down again. And then if you can film it coming back down, film it. If you can't, I'll film it. Yeah, I bet you're better at filming. Yeah, no worries. All right, man. I'll switch hands and uh, and get on that now. Right guys, so if Barry's, um, this is obviously like, you know, the main part of the church down here. And then this is where he was earlier in this bit. And now he's right up here where the bell is. And he's filmed the bell, which has got a date on it. And he's going to manually get back down again. Oh, I thought that was a rat for a minute. This massive bit of fluff just fell down, mate. <laughs> no, it don't matter. At least it weren't you. Like, I mean, like that fell down, not the rat. Like, <laughs> what's worse, going up or coming down? Usually coming down. Can't see don't put your feet on them lights. No, Grab about six inches, four inches. There you go. Yeah, man. Just, yeah, protect that. There you go. All right. Easy does it. Fuck. What was that? That was like a bit of a rock or something. You're going to have to need a broom after this, I reckon. Yeah. Right. There is one just here by the wall. Oh, is there really? Oh, that's all right. We'll have to use that then. Like, leave it clean and tidy. Nicely done, dude. You are covered in shit. Like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Easy does it, get yourself back down, protect your phone at all costs, protect yourself at all costs. Then grab that fucking broom. <laughs> Nicely done, Baz. Nicely done. What a legend. Look at this guy. What a legend. De evolved in the house, in the church. There you go, guys. So we finally saw the bell. It's epic out there. I'm hey, all right there. Wow. That is impressive. Nicely done, man. Well impressed. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to look good. That's that little door from around the sideway, guys, where we tried to get in and that, but it's, it's clearly locked and that. So, yeah, no, no way of getting in through there. Uh, some more scriptures on the wall up here. Um, yeah. There you go. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Given this day our daily bread and forgive us for our trespasses and for those who trespass against us and leave us not into temptation but deliver us from our something or other. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's some other stuff written here. A lot of the um, the uh, the wording is uh, quite badly deteriorated now, where it's got this wet and damp on the wall. And you can see it glistening a little bit, but it's preserved enough. I mean, we'll get that in a picture. Yeah, no worries. I'll come over in a sec. So, there's not much in the way of a stained glass window, unfortunately, guys. This is it's a what do you say this like? Lead crystal? Yeah. Lead uh, lead, lead lined or something it's like. But it doesn't look too bad. We've got some wood panels down here. I don't know if this is covering a gap. No, we can have a look under this. Right. Should we have a look under this though in a little while? See if it goes down. If it just lifted up and there were stairs or something, that would yes. be a bonus. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be, I reckon. Like it seems like a shame to like just leave it. So yeah, we'll get a picture of this bit as well. I can't really see what it says. It's really hard to read, guys. Um, yeah, there's like a little tombstone thing on the wall in memoriam. William will be, will be player, vicar of this parish. Oh, so this was like the vicar's actual church. This was him, and he's obviously died, and um, yeah, and he's probably buried here as well. So we'll try and find his grave in a little while, guys. 
Let's have a look. What's this you found? I'm trying to stand out the way of your shadow. Yeah, it's very hard to breathe. Look at the cat. Look how they did which in it. In it. RD. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Um, who died January the 4th, 1821. 1821, guys. Eight, eight weeks. Oh, sure. Oh, that's a bad time for little bubba. Yeah, no. Do you reckon that's buried underneath you? I don't know if I'm, that's definitely a commemoration for him, though, isn't it? Yeah. Because yeah. usually they bury the, like, the, uh, the, the holy people, like the church and, you know, the vicars, the yeah. uh, clergy and that. They usually yeah. get buried inside the church, I think. Eight weeks. Oh, yeah. And you can get an explorer under his belt. No, no. <laughs> it's awful, really, isn't it, when you think about it, how short you're actually on, on this planet for. Yeah, just not really And then right. to not even make it past eight weeks is awful. It really is. They yeah, say so everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Yeah, it's just working out what those reasons are, isn't it? Yeah. Not only for a treat. Yeah. Anyway, guys, this is pretty much the inside of this uh, church. Uh, we're going to finish our beers, uh, take a walk around from the outside and that, and then, um, yeah, probably actually blow out all these candles as well. We yeah. don't want to see on the news tomorrow or anything there's no church to come back to. And I feel absolutely awful. Like. <laughs> but, yeah, so here we are. Um, I wasn't going to blow them out just yet, but... I think Barry's a little bit uh, eager. He definitely doesn't want to be responsible for yeah. burning a church down. <laughs> Tell you what, it's going to stink of candles after this. Yeah, like. gonna... <laughs> I suppose it always so, used to, though, it. didn't it? It's only only doing what always happened before. <laughs> but yeah. So, yeah, this is um, this has been a good one, guys. Um, it's been really good. Thank you for all your support. Enjoying our videos, our photos. Means a lot to us. This is our Christmas explore, and we thought, why not celebrate with a beer? Holy beer. Holy beer. Okay, one for you. One for me. Now I'm going to do the most logical thing is put my wallet back in my pocket. <laughs> one less thing to lose, guys. There's nothing worse going on the explore and losing something, whether it be a torch, your wallet. Phone. Oh, your yeah, dignity. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of all of us at Devolved. Yeah, on behalf of Devolved. Cheers. Devolved here. Have okay. a very Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to one and all. Keep safe, keep warm, love you lots. And subscribe. top tip for you go and um, have a look at Paul Cook's page um, he's very interested in what we do and we're probably going to do an explore with him sometime next year looking forward to that and your other top tip is subscribe to our channel yes. happy days well I love you all peace out peace out Merry Christmas see you later Click the circle to subscribe, and why not check out one of our other videos?